Ukevi wa mauta ula wende kisioni cha Turkana ku Kenya ni wethi tuwe uyekia Kenya kati wa ndhi ta Nigeria, Angola na Ghana ndhi ilasi umasia mauta ile mbetani ya Afrika. Vena ukusi wata milion mana than the truth ya barrel siya mauta ila sina kethiwe musini watu kana nikikundi kila kitongo ya sini ngata niyo imwe ya kuma London ila ikuitoa talo oil. Utina wakisese cha ukethi wa mauta kwa ila na soko kukwati kana kisese kila ki kauntini ya trukana nikikethi ya wakitona kwete waita wa pound billion imwe katono ili. Dini wa silikali ya Kenya kuyana na namu ya ulo na vitu kithisiwe ni mbunge mwaka ni muvitu kilungu cha miongwele yuluwa ya na chambe saisu kikane nga wa silikali ya kaunti ya Trukana wala kilungu cha itano yuluwa ya na kikane nga wa ekali alame dhiululukite kisese cha ukedhi wa mauta. Talo management since 2012 to 2017. They were just making the uh, decision for the community. They meet somewhere in Nairobi, Lodwa, and make decision without community involvement. And then they bring to community as announcement. But after the first phase of the project, that's earlier oil pilot scheme, flagged by our current president, Uru Kenyatta, in June in, at Lokchar. Things are changing. Now, from there, the community, because they had a high expectation for the drilling of oil, because they were promised many things, that you will no longer be poor, your children will be sponsored, you will be getting health uh, facility nearby, you will be given food, and your animals will be taken care, insurance will be provided, and many things. Without saying many things taking place, except for scholarship for the children, and a few schools. Now the community resisted the second phase now. That's the Lapset and, uh, and the other project. And their demand is that they should be included in any decision making. Um, the state of the current um, Trukana project is it's at a very delicate position. Uh, there's no final investment decision yet. Um, we're hoping that that has been pushed, you know, in 2014 it was 2016, in 2016 it was 2018. Now in uh, 2019 and they're saying maybe end of 2019 or 2020, right? So that's a key milestone. Um, what is holding it back? Uh, in my opinion, there's three things. Land, infrastructure and taxes. That's, what is, that's where we're currently stuck at. Uh, they need land for the project, infrastructure including the pipeline um, and water. That's one, one, one other big thing the infrastructure on the project and lastly is taxes overall you know there's since the announcement of the oil discoveries in Turkana there's definitely expectations uh, Turkana has been left behind for so long we're dealing with at that particular time 94 percent poverty levels 87 percent uh, illiteracy levels so uh, you know for all school goers they believe this is it I'm going to be able to get full education uh, for people who've been having starvation issues drought issues this was going to be the key to to everything and and, and so those were high expectations but also the, the realities were the, as a country, we just never sat ba back and asked ourselves, what does oil mean? What does oil mean in Turkana? What does oil mean for the country? And so we all joined into the frenzy uh, without questioning, one, the lack of legislation. discovered oil in 2012, and uh, it, it is a journey. We are now seven years down the, le the lane, and uh, we are told that uh, we may have to go yet another uh, three to four years before we get uh, to commercial uh, export of, of oil. I think the, the, the challenge that Kenya is facing is that uh, when we struck oil, our expectations were high. And they were high because everybody thought that uh, with the oil, then we would spur our economic growth uh, by, by high revenues generated out of the oil. Uh, it was equally... Report here, Cheney Sokoni, Nine Esther Wamutuku.